Okay, so in this video we will be creating the initial project. Um, the game that we're creating is based on the official documentation on Cocos Creator. So this is a this is a 3D game, a simple 3D game. Uh, it's called Mind Your Step, and um, if you want a written version of of that, you can find it on the on the official Cocos website. So this is the link. Um, then you can read through. But I'm going to do a video version of this in short. A video version of this. So first things first, we're going to create our new project. Um, we'll just create an empty 3D project. And then of course, um, assuming that you already have installed an editor, um, I recommend uh, one of the newer editors, like um, I think I'm running 3.7. Yeah, so I'm running 3.7. If you are using uh, a very old one, perhaps just try to, to update it. So the name of this project is Mind Your Step. I prefer to name my projects without any spaces. Um, just for compilation, especially when compiling for platforms like Android, sometimes I run into issues. So that's why I prefer to call it um, with 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 uh, without any spaces. So we'll go on and create the project. Then it's going to take some some time. And then. Um, once it's ready, we can then start writing some code and creating some some of the things needed, like the player, the scripts, and and so on. So I'll actually pause this video and wait for it to complete creating the the project files uh, because um, I'm using a mechanical driver and this takes some time. And I actually need to log in first, so let me just pause the video as I insert these things. Yeah, so it's loading up, I've just logged in, then it has to load the whole project file, and then we'll be able to start from, from scratch. So, yeah, I'll just pause this for now. Okay, so it's finished loading, and um, so this is the the editor. So since we're creating a 3D game, so first of all, um, let's just enlarge this. Okay, um, in this in this first video, what we will do is just uh, basically set up the the project in terms of what we need um, to create this whole. Uh, this simple game. So firstly here you can see that we've got a hierarchy. So on this panel we're able to see the nodes that exist um, in the in the scene. So this is where the different objects of the game, um, the things that the user will be looking at, this is where they'll be. So here we can see that it's in 3D, we can switch to 2D, and uh, in this case it's a 3D game so it should remain on 3D. Um, so Firstly, we can come here in the assets folder. Um, this is where we keep our files, and we need to create a folder that's going to keep our scripts. So just right click. When you right click in here, you can see this option to create, and then we can go to folder. So create a folder that's going to keep um, scripts. So we can just call it scripts. So the scripts folder is just going to contain um, the source code files in short. Uh, Cocos Creator works with uh, TypeScript and um, the TypeScript files will be in here. The first TypeScript file that we'll create um, will be called, um, I think we can call it player controller. So you, you make sure that scripts is clicked. Then one, while it's clicked, you right click and then we say create and then on create go to TypeScript and then TypeScript you can then select new component so the new component 
like that. Then we can name this. We're going to call it player controller. So this is the, the file that's going to eventually be the one controlling our main character. So if you have um, something like Visual Studio Code, which I think is the best editor for for Cocos Creator, you can open the TypeScript file and then um, as we begin the second video, we will we'll begin writing code um, from, from that TypeScript file. So that's opening in the background. In the scene, in this area here, right now we can see that we just have the light source, which is this one here, and we also have the, the, the camera. Right, so you uh, can see this is this is what we have. Okay, so um, for now, all that we'll do is just um, add a new node. So firstly, we'll create an empty node. An empty node. So we can just call this one maybe player. So it contains nothing. Uh, it's an empty node, meaning it, it's not taking up any volume, um, so it, it's got no, it, it, it's it's not visible. I can't see it. It's not taking up any space. Then, while clicking the player empty node, we can create a 3D object. I think in this one they're using the capsule. So when we click when we click capsule, then we can be able to to make the individual um, player that's going to be visible. The capsule um, is visible. So when we double click here, you see that we're able to see the capsule, right? So in this case, so the player and the capsule. Okay, so on the capsule, let's also just make sure that its position is zero on the X axis, zero on the Y axis, and zero on the Z index um, so that it's at the same exact point right in the middle. Um, same thing for the player. So this its position is also zero 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 so that it's exactly um, on the middle. Okay. So when we click the camera here, we should be able to see that this is what um, what it looks like. So this is the, the capsule. Uh, this is what what we've created so far. Uh, later on, we'll change this, but for now, I think this is fine. So we've got the player character, we've got the the script file, and this is what the script looks like. We will begin writing code in here um, in the next session. So this is the end for this first video. We'll begin the video in the next session.